Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Key points, Jimmy Butler scores 26, leads Heat to win over Pistons in Miami. The Miami improved to 35-26 overall with a 118-110 win over the Detroit Pistons. The Heat are now 17-13 at home as well. Heat head coach Eric Spolstra spoke post-game about his team's win and this upcoming final stretch of games. These next 21 games, there's probably going to be a lot of these, Heat coach Eric Spolstra said. It's just the way it's going right now. Everybody's fighting for playoff positioning. Jimmy Butler led the way for the Heat with 26 points on 7-4-13 shooting. Butler hit 1-4-3 from the three-point line. Butler hit 11-4-12 from the free-throw line. He also grabbed six rebounds, dished out eight assists, and recorded two steals. The Heat traveled to Dallas, Texas to face the Dallas Mavericks on Thursday, March 7, 23. Tip-off is at 7.30 p.m. Eastern slash 6.30 p.m. Central. John Collins explains his side of heated exchange with coach in Jazz Bulls scuffle. The Chicago Bulls matchup against the Utah Jazz on Wednesday night ended in a heated exchange between the players and even the coaches. With 9.3 seconds remaining, Jazz forward John Collins walked over to the Bulls bench as Chicago forward Tory Craig, who was out with injury, was harping something toward him. Bulls assistant coach Chris Fleming tried to stand between Collins and Craig before things escalated, but he ended up exchanging shoves with the Jazz forward. That's when the tension soared, as more players and coaches attempted to break up the scuffle that followed. I'm standing there and the coach comes over and just shoves me for no reason, Collins said to reporters after the game. Y'all can go watch the film. I just was protecting myself. I was just standing there, and this dude puts a forearm in my chest and is pushing me back. He needs some more self-control. That was weird. Referees issued a double technical foul on Collins and Craig. Utah's Jordan Clarkson made the one technical free throw to tie the game at 117. Chicago's DeMar DeRozan brought back the Bulls' lead as he made both of his free throws from being fouled by Colin Sexton before the sideline scuffle. The Bulls won 119-117. to It was a wild ending to the night for Collins, who led the Jazz with 25 points and 13 rebounds. Heat's Tyler Harrell, Kevin Love injury update for upcoming two-game road trip. The Miami Heat have announced major injury and status updates to the likes of star Tyler Harrow, Kevin Love, and the newly acquired signing of Patty Mills. Since the seven-game losing skid that ended in late January, the Heat have made a huge turnaround as they have won 11 of their last 14 games. However, they will still be without Harrow and Love as they both will not travel with the team to Dallas for a Thursday road matchup against the Mavericks according to the team's ex, formerly known as Twitter, account. Harrow has missed the last five games due to a couple of issues where it was a hyperextended knee, but it is now a nagging foot injury that is specifically labeled as right foot medial tendonitis. It's the same little area that I dealt with in the past with my right foot in my rookie year. It's the same thing as that. So we're really trying to manage it right now, Harrow said to Anthony Chang of the Miami Herald. There is not currently a timetable for Harrow's return to the team as, while they didn't rule him out for the tail end of the back-to-back -back against the Oklahoma City Thunder on Friday, they said they didn't travel for the road trip. However, Heat head coach Eric Spolstra said that they are not saving him for the postseason. It's managing where he is right now, and once it feels right and gets past the protocols, he'll play, Spolstra said before the game against the Pistons. No, we're not saving anybody for the playoffs. We got a lot of work to do to make sure we get in. As for Kevin Love, Thursday and Friday will mark the fourth and fifth consecutive games that he will be absent as he is suffering from a right heel bruise suffered in the win against the Portland Trail Blazers. Love has become an integral piece for the Heat since obtaining him through the buyout market last season. 
he has become the backup center for star Bam Adebayo and has been a reliable player for Spolstra. Time and time again, the head coach has called Love a connector of all connectors. I think the transition that he's made at this stage of his career, most former All-Stars can't or aren't willing to do it, Spolster said earlier in the season. And he's really a star in that kind of role. He's really important for our group because he's the connector of all connectors. He's really like our emotional leader. He just wants to win at this stage of his career. He just wants to do whatever it takes, however he can help to get our team to win, Spolster continued. And there's a karma to that if you're pure with your intentions. And even at this stage, it's a sacrifice. But he's willing to sacrifice for the betterment of the team, and it's a great example for everybody else to try to do what we're trying to do. I love the role that he's carving out right now. Despite the fact that the Miami Heat is in the midst of a turnaround after the seven-game losing skid earlier as they have now won nine of their last 12 games, their 15-13 home record leaves a lot to be desired. Heat star Tyler Harrow said the initial goal was to be .500 on the road and then dominating at home when it's been pretty much the opposite according to Ira Winderman of the Sun Sentinel. Coming into the season, Harrow said, the goal is .500 on the road and then dominating at home. I think early on we dropped some games at home where we were winning and then lost in the fourth quarter, Harrow continued, and that hurt the record to where we had to become in the mindset of becoming road warriors, like, let's try to win as many games on the road, since we're not winning at home. So we had to make up some of those wins on the road. But I don't really know why we're not winning at home, Harrow continued. Because in the past, we've usually been dominant at home. When Harrow talks about the mindset of becoming road warriors, it could help if Miami doesn't get home advantage in the playoffs. But still, the question of the inconsistency at home has yet to be answered as even star Bam Adebayo doesn't know why even as that's been a strength in previous years. Man, I don't know. We've had these ups and downs, these goods and bads. Guys in and out of the lineup, Adebayo said. The best thing for us is from this point, instead of being average, be more impressive at home. We've had a couple of games on the road that have given us momentum, so when we go home, use that momentum. We want to win at home, Adebayo continued. We don't want to disappoint our fans, for them to come to games and see us lose. But it's happened, and you move on. Either way, Adebayo addressed that they need to take the momentum of the success Miami has had on the road, 22-16 away record, and carry that into contests at the Casilla Center. In the previous six games, all on the road, the Heat have been 5-1 leading to a 33-26 record, putting them 8th in the Eastern Conference. Miami starts a two-game homestand Saturday as they take on the Utah Jazz, then they face the Detroit Pistons the next Tuesday. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation, Tyler Harrell? Leave your opinion in the comments.